What's up guys, it's Dan from Underground and today we're going to be looking at the add-ons that I use when playing World of Warcraft to enhance my World of Warcraft experience. So these add-ons are basically just quality of life add-ons, they just make the game better to me. So I'm hoping that uh, they will make the game better for you guys as well. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right into it and we're just going to give you, I'm just going to give you a brief description of the add-on and show you how I use it and uh, why I use it. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, guys. So the very first add-on that we have here is called Addy Bags or Adriel's Bags. So Addy Bags is very simply a bag add-on. So I like this add-on in particular for a few reasons. First and foremost, it's very customizable. You can change the background. You can make it transparent. You can have it grow uh, upwards or sideways or whatever. It's completely customizable. It's very nice that way. Also, it organizes your items extremely well. When you collect a new item, it's going to put it in its own little section up at the top here, uh, which makes sorting items extremely, extremely handy. The customization is extremely user friendly, guys. It's very easy to use. You just go to interface, add ons, addy bags, and configure to change everything. Here is here's all your menus right here. So the background, etc. You can customize the items. You can do all sorts of things with it. Uh, if you really want to get in depth, i.e., you can have it sell junk for you on a timer. Um, like just honestly, guys, tons and tons of options, but I just use it for its basic appearance. Uh, an ability to organize things for me in a very neat and efficient manner. So a very nice bag add-on and I would highly recommend it. Okay guys, so moving on here. Next up, we have All the Things. So All the Things is a pretty heavy add-on that literally is going to show you everything in the game. Excuse me. So if I open up the all the things menu here, this is literally everything in the game guys. It's got every event, every holiday, every achievement, every mount, like you name it. Everything is in here. So this is a pretty intimidating screen. Um, so I like to kind of stay away from it. So I'm just going to show you real quick how to get into the settings. So you'd go to interface add on, you'd go to all the things and here is the settings. So I am in completionist mode. This is going to show me basically everything in the game. Um, you can filter things if you would like. You can filter things here as well. There's unobtainables. Uh, but most importantly, in the interface screen here is a tab that says display in combat. So you're going to want to have that ticked off like I do here. And the reason for that, guys, is because what it's talking about is it's talking about this right here. I'm just going to fly down. And I'm going to show you, <clears throat> I'm going to find a person here and I'm going to show you what, what it's talking about. So if we mouse over this guy right here, you can see that it gives us a drop down menu showing us everything that he contains that we can buy off of him. So there's, you know, the spectral terror wing that, uh, mount is there and all sorts of stuff. So obviously when you're in a mythic plus or a, or a dungeon or a raid, you don't want to be mousing over the enemy and having a massive drop down menu appear. So that is why I recommend that you display that or disable that to display in combat. On the other hand, if you are running a old, like you're soloing an old dungeon or raid, I would suggest that you turn it on because chances are you're running that dungeon or raid for specific transmog pieces or amount. <clears throat> so when you're in that raid, it's very handy to mouse over the enemy and know exactly if that NPC is going to have a chance at dropping that specific piece of gear or mount that you are looking for. <clears throat> so it has its purposes, like I said, for solo, but for anything current where you got to be really paying attention, uh, I would suggest you turn it off. So that is basically all the things, guys. It's very, very in-depth. I could go all day talking about it. But there's only one other screen that I really want to talk about. And that is the main screen in my opinion. Now this is the all the things mini screen. And this screen is going to change based on the zone that you are in. So for instance, I am in Dazzalore. So it's going to give us every quest, every holiday event, every achievement, um, every emissary quest, mission command table quest. 
profession, every rare, every vendor and what they sell, like just all sorts of information guys. So I highly recommend every time you go into a new zone, pop out the all the things mini screen and just have a look and see what all there is that you need to collect. And it's going to make finding things and collecting things a lot faster. So highly, highly recommend it. Another thing that it does guys is it creates your mouse uh, in your bag when you mouse over something. For instance, these boots here. Um, I've collected every appearance except for one. As you can see, I still need to collect the Dread Corsair Stompers, which uses the same appearance, but it has a different name. So it just gives you lots of information like that. Uh, another thing that it does is, if let's say you pick up an, an egg, like I know, I can't remember, I think it's Sabu or Sabol or whatever <laughs> in Legion, that uh, tiger or whatever, it, it drops that egg and it has a chance of cracking into a mana ray or a pet or things like that. So for instance, a lot of people will probably get that egg and they'll just sell it, right? Because it's an egg, it's garbage. They, they don't want to have it anymore but with all the things when you mouse over it it tells you what it has a chance of turning into ie the mounts or pets or whatever so it will stop you from selling things that you may think are useless when in fact they are quite useful so just a very handy add-on when trying to learn and figure out what things are or what you need to collect to continue your completionist goal so I would highly, highly recommend getting all the things. Like I said, guys, I barely touched on all the things here today. You could spend all day talking about it. So <clears throat> I might actually do a more in-depth video on it, but we'll see how it goes. So I just suggest download it for yourself, explore, and uh, I think everyone everyone should, should have it. It's a great add-on. Okay, guys, so moving on to the next one here. The next one is called Aurora. So Aurora is basically what is theming all of my, <clears throat> excuse me, theming all of my menus. So for instance here, I have a nice black transparent background in my character screen. My map is the same way, same with my spec and, and my talent screen. So that's all Aurora is guys. It just gives you the ability to create and to customize your screens, backgrounds, more so just modernize them, you know, compared to the old school Blizzard art. Um, so you go interface, you go add-ons, you go Aurora, and here you can customize it. It's very lightweight, it doesn't have a ton of customization, but it does do the job in cleaning up the screens and making it look a lot more modern. So highly recommend getting that add-on as well. Next up, we have another uh, add-on, it's called Bartender 4. Bartender 4 is a very simple add-on that, and you just go slash BT4 to pull out the menu here, guys. Um, it's a very small add-on that gives you the ability to customize and move your action bars. So Bartender 4 is what I use to create this setup. It's very, very user-friendly. Uh, it's very easy to use. I'll just unlock it here. You can see everything that I have moved with it. Um, like I said, very easy to use. Just read through it. It's not hard to understand at all. Uh, it moves a lot of stuff. However, it does not move everything in the game. So there is two other add-ons that I have that go hand in hand with Bartender 4 when creating a custom UI. And I will touch on those in just a few seconds. So if you want an add-on that is going to move your action bars very easily and very nicely, uh, you can have presets and profiles, etc. Bartender 4 is the add-on for you. Okay, so moving on, we have Basic Minimap. Basic Minimap is obviously my minimap in the corner here. You pull it out by typing slash basic minimap. Um, so I like it because it has very little customization, but it does exactly what I need it to do. Uh, everything I have is square, so having a circle minimap with a bunch of art on it was very ugly, so this gave me the ability to make it square gives me the ability to hide these buttons here when I mouse away from them. It gives me coordinates and that's basically all I needed it for guys. It, it's just a very simple, small, basic minimap add-on. So very, very nice. Um, next up we have Khalil's Tracker. Khalil's Tracker is the quest tracker here on the right hand side of the screen. This is probably my favorite add-on that I have. 
um, because I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely hated having a massive quest log. So Khalil's tracker gives us the ability to have a set size, so it'll never grow bigger than this, and a scroll bar. So very, very handy, as well as it gives a lot of other little options. Um, it says here 120R, so we know it's a level 120 raid quest, or 120D for a dungeon quest, or G for group quest. You know, just things like that that make filtering through your quest a lot easier. Um, and yeah, you can customize the colors on it, customize the background on it, you're able to match your theme with it. Uh, just a very, very useful add-on to have. You go to interface, you go to add-ons, and you go to Khalil's tracker to customize it. Uh, I do want to say Khalil's tracker has an excellent help window here. So if you get it and you need help setting it up, just go through the help menu and you will have no problems understanding how to set this up. It's a very, very nice add-on. Highly recommend it. Okay guys, so the next add-on that we have here is called Leatrix Maps. The Leatrix Maps is quite simply a map add-on. It gives you your cursor coordinates and your player coordinates. It also gives you the entrance to every single dungeon and raid in the game on the map so you don't have to spend any time searching for those anymore. They just are on the map with their location. As well as it shows the fog of war. It replaces the fog of war with this kind of darker blue color here so you can see where you need to be or where you have been very easily. Um, I use this add-on mostly for the coordinates and the fact that when I'm playing with my alts and I'm going to places that I haven't been on my alt but I've been there a hundred times on my main uh, and I know exactly where I'm going but I just can't see it because of the fog of war this just makes it a lot easier to move around on the map so highly recommend it a good quality of life map add-on okay so next up here guys we have what's called oops sorry uh, we have what's called move anything so move anything is one of the add-ons that that goes hand in hand with bartender 4 like I was saying earlier um, move anything gives you the ability to quite literally move everything in the game so it can be a little bit scary when you first get it but after you read through things and you just kind of have a look at it it's actually extremely easy to use move anything and I usually only use it to move things that bartender 4 cannot move so a very good example of that is the um, player alternative power bar so this is the bar that fills up with Azerite power as you're doing those world quests. You know, you're collecting the shards or you're killing the enemies and that bar is slowly filling up to 100%. Well, this is that bar. And by default, it's usually in the middle of your screen or somewhere on the right hand side. So I just needed an add-on that enabled me to move it out of the way to continue with my very clean UI setup. So move anything give, gave me that ability. So very, very nice. Another thing that I used it for was to move my group finder icon to the middle of the map rather than having it on the corner here. So just very simple, simple things I use it to, to move around. So very, very nice add-on uh, for moving literally everything in the game. Very, very nice. All right, guys, so next up we have what's called recount. So recount is very simply just our damage counter add-on here. It counts damage, it counts healing, and it counts uh, damage absorption for tanks. So it's not a necessity, I just use it for mythic pluses just to see where everyone's at kind of deal. Um, but yeah, not, not totally needed. Um, but a very good add-on though, if you do want an, uh, a damage counter, it works really well. It has good customization ability, you just click this little cog here, you can change the colors, etc. Um, so yeah, very, very nice little add-on for counting damage. There's not much more to it than that. <clears throat> um, next up we have shadowed unit frames. So this is the third piece to our puzzle when it comes to creating a clean UI. So shadowed unit frames slash SUF pulls it out and this is what I use to, I will show you here, to move around all these bars that just appeared on our screen here. So I use shadowed unit frames to customize and to move my player bar you can change the colors, you can change what it shows, you can even have a 3D picture of your character beside it. Um, it's absolutely crazy what you can do with this add-on. 
Um, but as you can see, this is exactly what I've used it for. I've used it to set up my target. I've used it to set up my party and my raid groups, as well as my arena and battleground. So very good add-on when cleaning up and creating a UI. Very easy to work with, extremely straightforward, and it does a beautiful job. It's very, very nice. Highly recommend it if you are creating or looking to create a custom UI. So very, very nice. Next up here, we have a couple just really quick add-ons to go through. Uh, Storyline is a very small add-on that just immerses you more into the game. So by that, I mean it uh, does this right here. When you talk to an NPC, it's going to bring up this big screen here with a 3D picture of yourself and who you're talking to. So I find that it just kind of pulls me into the game a bit more. And uh, and I just, I like that. I like I like talking. And seeing our characters communicate, I think it's I think it's really nice. Rather than just having a big text box here, uh, if you go into interface and you go to storyline, you can customize it here. I have it disabled in dungeons and raids, so instances. Um, I highly suggest you do that too, because as you know, everyone likes to rush through those. So having a big box come out might not be the best idea. However, if you want to, you can have it on. So that is that add-on there, storyline. <clears throat> Next up we have end plates. End plates is an enemy nameplate add-on. I use it strictly to match my shadowed unit frame design. Um, and also because it just gives a nice big percentage, a nice big bar. As you can see here, it's very easy to read. You can see everything on it. It gives a cast bar right below. Very easy to read, like I said. So just a very nice add-on or enemy nameplates. Highly, highly recommend getting it. Super user friendly and uh, and very clean. Just go interface, add on nameplates and here you can customize that out right in here. Very easy to use and to work with. Um, one thing that is cool is it does have a tank option mode which is kind of neat. I have not played around with it too much so I can't really say what it truly does or does not do but I do believe it uh, it just plays with the colors and it makes it more flashy so it's easier to see when you have lost or gained aggro. So that is name plates. Next up we have our our last add-on and that is deadly boss mods. So deadly boss mods guys is a crucial add-on if you're going to be doing mythic pluses. Um, it basically shows you all the casts or spells that the boss is going to be using when it hits zero on the counter down here that is going to be when it would jump up to him actually casting it so it gives you a very very large amount of time to prepare for certain moves um, as well as on any really high damaging moves it's gonna give you an actual alert that's gonna flash on the screen with big writing and it's gonna say you know break line of sight or hide or run away or just anything like that so it just gives you lots of alerts and it just makes doing those mythic pluses a lot easier so anyways guys that's all of the add-ons that I use when playing World of Warcraft they are like I said quality of life add-ons that just make the game easier to play and to myself they make it more enjoyable um, all of them the authors who have created them are still very very involved in the community and they keep them up to date all the time we are on patch 8.3 right now all of these are updated to 8.3 or 8.2.5 and will be updated to 8.3 right away so yeah very good add-ons highly recommend them they're all extremely user friendly if you have any questions or concerns about any of these add-ons please feel free to leave a comment down below and I will answer those as soon as possible if there is a particular add-on that you guys would like to see a more in-depth video on please let me know below as well and I will be sure to make a video on that so yeah guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace!